In part 2 on uh, I PV IV characteristics, we looked at the effect of the um, environmental factors, mainly the solar irradiance and the temperature on the um, IV characteristics of the PV cell. Now, this is part 3, where we look at the effect of the series and the shunt resistance, um, as well as the effect of this uh, ideality factor on the IV characteristics. Okay, the next parameter we will consider is the series resistance and its impact on the current voltage characteristic. Um, so the plot uh, shown here corresponds to the nominal value of the uh, series resistance for this particular uh, PV module that uh, we have been considering in this video. And uh, I believe it is uh, 5 milliohms per cell for this particular uh, product from the, uh, from the estimation from the data sheet. Now, if I increase the series resistance uh, to a new value RS2, so RS2 is higher than the uh, original RS1, then the IV characteristics to cha changes to this um, uh, blue curve. And if I increase the resistance further, then we get this green uh, curve for the IV plot. And if I really increase the series resistance to a very large value, then you get um, um, almost a totally different looking IV characteristic. So what we observe from these uh, four curves is that as the resistance increases, the uh, the point uh, or the voltage at which the current begins to have uh, a rapid uh, decrease, uh, that that voltage becomes smaller and smaller as the resistance increases, um, and uh, and also we can see that the uh, slope of the current near the uh, open circuit voltage that is also quite different. Uh, as the resistance value changes, the slope actually reduces as the resistance uh, increases. So let's look at uh, this equation uh, corresponding to this uh, PV cell model. The effect of the series resistance um, uh, shows up here, the drop I times RS. So this quantity here is the diode voltage V sub D. And um, um, the quantity AKT over Q, that is the um, the thermal voltage, so this, this exponential term really is E to the diode voltage VD over the thermal voltage v, VT. And when VD is uh, significantly higher than the thermal voltage VT, that is when the diode current begins to rise rapidly and therefore the external current I begins to drop rapidly. Okay, so so if uh, if that voltage uh, at which the current begins to drop rapidly, let's say is about um, say 0 0.52 here. Okay, so if it is uh, 0 0.52 volts is when that happens, then because of this uh, resistive drop I times R S and uh, V D being um, um, V D is the V plus uh, I times R S. Therefore, even at V equals uh, let's say 0 0.45 maybe. Uh, assuming this drop is um, the, the the balance the point zero seven, um, then the the effect of the series resistance is to actually reduce the voltage instead of point five two, uh, it brings down to point four five external voltage uh, at which the current begins to drop rapidly, and that is what is seen in these uh, four curves corresponding to increasing values of the series resistance, and at very large value of resistance, it actually begins to uh, drop rapidly even at point two volts. And uh, this is what is mentioned in this bullet. The uh, the terminal voltage at which the uh, current begins to drop rapidly becomes uh, smaller as the resistance uh, increases. So in this example, uh, 0.45 volts instead of uh, 0.55 with uh, a very small value of the resistance. And the impact of the series resistance um, on this IV characteristic is not very significant as can be seen here all the four curves with uh, very different values of the series resistance they actually converge at these low voltages uh, so the impact of the resistance is not um, is not high at the low voltages and that is because um, uh, even though the current may be high and this uh, this term IRS uh, is relatively high compared to um, when it is um, um, but the 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 sum of the voltage the V plus I R S which is the uh, which is really the diode voltage V D um, that is still low because V is close to zero or uh, it's a very low value therefore the exponential term or the V D is uh, is not significantly higher than the thermal voltage therefore the there is not um, a big change in the current between the various um, uh, uh, 
different values of the resistance. And finally, the uh, uh, another point which um, actually helps us to um, estimate the value of the series resistance from the IV plot given in the data sheet or taken experimentally uh, is the is the observation that the slope of the um, the current near the open circuit voltage is a strong function of the resistance. The slope actually reduces with increasing value of the series resistance. And uh, in the in a later video on parameter extraction from these uh, IV uh, plots, uh, we will come up with, uh, with an actual expression for determining the series resistance from this slope. Okay, next we take up the uh, shunt resistance, this uh, parallel resistance R shunt. Um, the value of R shunt is uh, usually relatively large. So any uh, small values of R shunt measured or estimated, uh, it normally implies device degradation or uh, impending degradation or sometimes deficiencies in the manufacturing process. Now, the uh, the figure here shows uh, four IV curves corresponding to four different values of the R shunt. And all of the plots correspond to the same value of uh, solar irradiance, same temperature, and actually the same series resistance as well. Now, for the sample module that is being considered in this video, uh, roughly at uh, 200 watts power level and with a short circuit current of about uh, 8.3 amperes, uh, a typical value of shunt resistance or shunt per cell is between uh, about 5 ohms and uh, 10 ohms. Uh, so that is uh, roughly in the, in this region covered by the red and the green um, uh, plots. So the um, red and green, they correspond to um, uh, you know, with 10 ohms and 3 ohms uh, shunt resistance, they correspond to typical curves, whereas the, the blue, um, that corresponds to an R shunt, which is uh, significantly larger at 100 ohms. And the fourth waveform, uh, that corresponds to an R shunt value of 1 ohm, uh, which is uh, very low and which is um, more likely represents uh, a defective cell. Now, from the plots, you can see that both at the low voltage end near the short circuit current as well as at the high voltage end near the open circuit voltage. The difference in the IV plots corresponding to the four different R shunt values is uh, it's not all that noticeable. Now the impact of R shunt is, uh, is by diverting a small part of the photon current in this shunt resistance. So this current I R shunt is uh, is the diode voltage VD over the R shunt itself. Okay. So clearly at the low voltage end when V or VD is close to zero, the uh, current is small and it is not different, uh, it's not very different between different values of the shunt resistance. Okay. Therefore the difference in the IV plots is not, uh, is not noticeable. Okay. Whereas if you come to the other end at the high voltage end, now because of the higher voltage, the currents are larger and the difference in the shunt current for the different values of the shunt resistance is certainly uh, different. Okay, so, so as an example, consider the case where the uh, R shunt is, uh, is a low value. So the corresponding I R shunt would be high um, at the uh, high voltage end. So the current here, this is uh, high. Okay. So therefore, for a given photon current that goes out to the external circuit is low, and that means the drop across the series resistance is also is low, is I times R S. So therefore, the voltage, the diode voltage V D at this point, which is V plus I R S, is also going to be lower for a given value of V. Now we are talking about you know, a few millivolts difference, but at the high voltage end near the open circuit voltage, even a few millivolts has uh, a large effect on the diode current. Okay. So with a smaller V D the diode current ID is going to be that much smaller. So therefore, this decrease in the diode current to some extent compensates for the increased um, shunt current um, or shunt current. Therefore, the net effect in the external current is again not very significant and that explains why we don't have much difference in the four IV plots at BOC. So the main noticeable impact of the R shunt on the IV plots is uh, is in this region, which corresponds to the maximum power point, the uh, max power region. Okay. 
So clearly, the low values of arshent, this um, fourth plot corresponding to arshent of 1 ohms, so lower the value of the arshent, smaller is the maximum power. So the uh, the power loss in the in the leakage current or in the R shunt that brings down the efficiency of the PV cell. Now, having said that, the the plots are not very different near the low voltage end. Um, if you really zoom in uh, in this region uh, shown here, uh, even though the the actual currents are not very different, um, uh, as seen here, the slopes or the rate at which the current comes down with increasing voltage that is drastically different for the four values of the shunt resistance. So this blue plot corresponding to 100 ohms of R shunt, uh, it barely reduces, the current barely reduces. Whereas uh, the plot corresponding to the 1 ohm shunt resistance, you can see the large change in the current with the increasing um, voltage. So in fact, we can use the slope of the current near the short circuit current region to estimate the value of the shunt resistance if we have the measured IB plots or from the data sheets. Okay, then the final point on the shunt resistance uh, is that the uh, its impact on the efficiency of the PV cell it is much more severe at low irradiance levels. Um, as shown in this uh, IV plot, this corresponds to an irradiance of 250 watts per square meter, one fourth of what you've been seeing in the previous slide. So the short circuit current or the photon current comes down proportionately, it's one fourth of the previous value whereas the open circuit voltage does not reduce significantly. It is still around 0.6 volts. Um, I think it has come down from 0.62 to about 0.58, uh, not a big change. Therefore, the, um, the, the current in the shunt resistance, I shunt, um, that also um, does not reduce um, significantly. Um, or in other words, if you look at the losses, the losses in the shunt resistance is this uh, BD squared over the R shunt, now, since VD is almost constant, the losses remain constant. Whereas the total power from the PV cell, uh, the PMP around this point, that has come down roughly one fourth of the previous value corresponding to the irradiance. And as a proportion, this loss, which is the same in both the cases, divided by the uh, actual power, which is the efficiency, uh, that is going to be very low. So. Um, the effect of the shunt resistance, therefore, is much more pronounced at uh, low irradiance levels. Okay, so the final parameter that we will consider in this video is this parameter called the ideality factor, denoted by the letter A. Now, A is a measure of the quality of the material. So, low values of A, uh, so A itself ranges from 1 to 2. So, A values closer to 1 represents a good material and a smaller dark saturation current or IO and a higher output power. Now this plot, um, uh, there are three plots corresponding to three values of A, 1, 1.2 1 and 1.5. So obviously the red with A equals 1 has the highest uh, maximum power. Now when we try to um, fit the, um, um, when you try to determine the parameters based on um, experimentally derived IV characteristics or the one given in the data sheet. It is this parameter A that we adjust to make our model match well with the uh, measured um, IV characteristics. And uh, since the impact of A is mainly near the maximum power point, we adjust this factor A to match the uh, measured maximum power to the maximum power predicted by, by the model. So, in a later video on parameter extraction, we will discuss um, how to determine A, the shunt and the series resistance based on the many of the um, uh, facts that we observed uh, in this video.